This is calculator question number 27 from the May 2019 international exam. College Board gives us a box plot and asks us which of these statements must be true. Choice A says there are more data between 61 and 84 than between 51 and 61, but 25% of the observations should be in each quartile, so 25% between the first quartile and the median, 51 to 61, and 25% between the median and the third quartile, 61 to 84, so there should not be more to adding one block than the other. Choice B, there are no data between 37 and 51. That's not true because the box plot shows that 25% of our observations are in that interval. So we can reject B. Choice C, the mean of the data is 61. While that's possible, it's not guaranteed. It's not something that must be true. The median is 61, the middle observation. Choice D, the range of the data is 50. The box plot shows the maximum as 87 and the minimum as 37. And the difference between the maximum and the minimum is the range. And that is 50. So choice D is correct. College Board often asks you to interpret box plots, sometimes more than once per exam, so it's worth learning these. The important thing with box plots is the five number summary. The minimum, the first quartile, the 25th percentile, the median, which is the 50th percentile, the middle number if they're written in order smallest to largest, the third quartile, the 75th percentile, and then the maximum. Those are the five numbers displayed on the box plot, and they allow you to find the median and the range and sometimes get an indication of whether the data are skewed. Come back soon for my next video. With math, there's always more.